Hello and welcome to highlights of stage six of the Giro d'Italia women. 159 kilometers today from San Benedetto del Toronto to Chieti. Elisa Longa Borghini taking a three second advantage over Lotte Capecchi into a big stage. And 38 seconds to Cecily Uttrup Ludwig. On paper, three categorized three climbs along the route, but 2,629 meters of elevation, 11 climbs in total, one intermediate sprint, and then the climb up to Chieti, six and a half kilometers in length, averaging 4.2%. Magdalena Valieres attacking for the EF Oatley Camendale team, joined at the front by Claire Steeles, joining up at the head of the race with Alessia Vigilia and Femke Geritza, who had jumped clear just a few kilometers down the road. These attacks, though, would be short-lived. The peloton was being shredded behind. One rider that was losing just a touch was our Queen of the Mountains leader, Clara Emmons, but she had taken points over the first time of the day, following Justine Hekira and taking four points with 85 points four to go on and Sierra had taken the intermediate sprint Ninka Vinka of DSM Firmenich Post and now was just disintegrating the peloton for team leader Juliette Labuse who had started today within striking distance of the Malia Rosa 49 seconds down in four as they came to the summit it was Paulina Royakas that took the maximum seven points over the top she would be followed by Swiss rider Elise Chabet from the team of Canyon Shram Royakas, phenomenal climber, would start the descent, but disaster struck for the Canyon Shram rider who went down on the descent. One of the fastest descenders in the pro peloton. She did get up on her feet. Alecha and Maria Arzufi also go down in the crash. It didn't mean that a breakaway group went clear. Anne San Testaban, Ruth Edwards, Liana Lipper, and Erica Magnaldi, four strong riders going clear at the head of the race. A small, reduced peloton behind with the who's who of this year's Giro Donne. Lotte Capecchi going on the attack. Quickly followed by the Malia Rosa of Elisa longa Volgini and the white jersey of Antonia Niedermeyer. The gap growing to our leaders. You would feel that they needed around two and a half minutes going into the foot of the final climb to hold off this charging group behind with hardly any metres of flat on today's stage. Ferocious temperatures as well, with the temperature gauge nudging 40 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Nee Fisher-Black, already a stage winner in this year's Giro, going on the attack. Quickly marshaled, though, by Antonia Niedermeyer in the white jersey as the best young rider. Little Trek. Plenty of options to play with super teammate Brody Chapman doing much of the work for Elisa Longa Mugini and Gaia Realini. Ruth Edwards from the USA, Human Proud Health, already a Giro stage win in her career. Liana Lippert in the blue of Movistar taking a stage of the Tour de France Femme Avic Swift last year. She was looking to add a Giro stage win. The two other members of the breakaway, Erica Magnaldi chasing the biggest win of her career, as would Spanish rider Anne Santesteban. They were heading in towards Chieti, the gap, 2.41. It had dropped to just over two minutes as they started the climb steep at the bottom. It would level off just outside three kilometers to go and then kick back up towards the line. Gaia Realini, Antonia Niedermeyer on the front. It was the white jersey that was setting a lot of the pace at the bottom. Longo Gorghini had attached herself to the wheel of Lotta Capecchi, who attacked with 2.7 kilometers to go. The big question was, would it then just come down to a straight fight between these two? Capecchi looked back over the shoulder. Longo Borghini saw that she had a gap and would immediately counter over the top to try and put the Belgian rider into difficulty. It came back together. There was a stall in the group behind, which played perfectly into the hands of the breakaway. Niedermeyer, Garcia, all on the front of the group through the city they would start the climb up towards the finish and everything went in the favor of our breakaway Magnaldi led out Lippert coming back from the stress fracture of her hip earlier on in the season it came down to a straight fight between Lippert and Edwards with Lippert taking the win for Germany and the team of Movistar
the sprint from the group behind. No bonus seconds now on offer, which would mean that Elisa Longa Borghini would start the penultimate stage in the Malia Rosa and in a show of strength, made sure that she took the group sprint just ahead of Lee Bradbury and Juliette Labus. Celebrations, the comeback is complete. Liana Lippert adds a stage of the Giro to that Tour de France stage win in 2023. Celebrations all round for the team of Movistar. An important victory for them. There's your top 10. Liana Lippert ahead of Ruth Edwards and Erica Magnaldi. Longa Borghini leads in the group ahead of Lee Bradbury. Italy, last one, the Giro d'Italia women in 2008. Can Elisa Longa Borghini bring it home for the host nation? Lotta Capecchi, three seconds down. But what a stage we have ahead of us on stage seven, the queen stage of this year's race. Intermediate sprint at Manopello. Up the Paso Lanciano for the first time. We loop back around, climb it for a second time, and we go all the way up to Blockhouse. It is going to be savage. Tune in for a mighty day on the queen stage of the Giro d'Italia women.